welcome back to chocolate stories i'm back with many more goodies to unbox and a brand new story for all of you today our story is called the owl's lesson by nick butterworth let's start swallows and swifts flew high above the head of percy the park keeper soon they would be off on their long winter holidays some birds had already gone Percy was thinking how nice it would be to join them but his thoughts were soon brought back down to earth Percy look what we have found just ahead of him a squirrel friend and the mole were standing over a heap of twigs hello said percy that looks like an old nest he picked it up i shouldn't think anyone lives in it now then you would be wrong said a little voice a small feathery head struck itself out from beneath the twigs i live in it and you're holding me upside down i'm so sorry said percy he turned the nest over i thought you would have gone with your friends and relations can't fly said the little bird i didn't get the hang of it oh dear percy began but he wasn't allowed to finish good morning it was the owl Owl called Percy. Can you help? This little fellow can't fly. Flying said the owl as she swooped overhead. Nothing to hit, she hooted as she went into an impressive spin. Just flap and go. The owl shot up into the air and out of sight. Almost at once, she was back again, flying just above their heads. You see, she cooed. It's easy. Look out! Shouted Percy. Thump! The owl hit a pine tr- tree. Pine cones rained down on the squirrel and the mole, followed by the owl in a dazed and untidy heap. Well, said Percy, I think there's a lesson for us all. Percy said the squirrel, "Have you got any string?" Percy felt in his pocket. "Here's a piece," he said. "Why do you want it?" The squirrel jumped to his feet. Come on," he said to the little wor- bird. "I'll give you a piggy back." Percy looked puzzled as the squirrel began to climb a tree with a very nervous passenger on his back. "He needs to get used to heights," explained the squirrel. When he reached the top, the squirrel tied the string between two branches. "It's a tight rope," he said. "Follow me." Balancing carefully, the squirrel stepped onto the string. The little bird bravely followed hurrah cheered the mole well done called percy we'll have you taking to the air in no time at that very moment with a twang one of the squirrels knot came undone and the tight rope walkers found themselves falling the squirrel managed to grab the end of the string the little bird didn't as he looked down he expected to see the ground rushing towards him instead He saw Percy holding out his cap. The little bird fell right into Percy's cap, but so hard that he bounced straight out again. "Oh no!" shouted Percy. "He's going to fall into those thorn bushes. Fly! Fly!" And as if he had been doing it all his life, that's just what the little bird did. He flew away from the thorns, up into the air and perched at the top of the tree. Don't stop call the owl you can go after your friends and relations now the little bird looked delighted i will he called back thank you everybody and with that he was off over the tree tops don't mention it said a voice dangling from a piece of string halfway up a tree don't mention it the end i hope you all enjoyed the story of percy the park keeper and all his animal friends till next time